Hi everyone, I just wanted to uh, reach out to you guys and talk to you guys about my new sleeping bag I got. I was able to use it, uh, so far I really like it. I used it in uh, 34, 35 degree weather. It was very, pretty warm in that. Um, so here it is. Again, it's a Sierra Designs Zizu 23. It's supposed to be able to keep you warm down to 23 degrees. Uh, the way I was feeling at uh, 34, 35, uh, 23 might be a little bit not too comfortable for me, but um, but everyone's different. And my dog likes it. So as you see here, it's got a HUD, it's got a zipper going down the middle here. Butters, you really like it, huh? And uh, this is the left hand. I got it off of Amazon. And it's 700 fill power with dry down. Uh, again, it's supposed to dry the bag about seven times as uh, quick as normal, and uh, and retain some of its uh, its warmth even if it gets wet. Uh, what comes with the bag is this storage sack, so it doesn't comp you don't store it compressed. This is what they call, or someone referred to online as their compression sack, which it definitely isn't, right Butters? This is the, uh, just a plain old stuff sack. It's pretty big. I'll show you what it looks like when you uh, put the bag in it and how big it is. But what I do is I use uh, my own compression sack here and I get it down to about this big. I will um, show you um, me stuffing it and showing you how big it gets, okay? There's the hood that kept me pretty warm. It lofts up pretty nice as you can see Here's that. what goes around your neck and you can cinch that up as well. There isn't a uh, another flap in there like you'll see in some bags to help keep that heat in. For me it wasn't an issue. Um, so that's that. Of course they have a reinforcement here so you don't snag. I didn't have an issue with any snagging. <coughs> And there's the foot box. It does the zipper doesn't go all the way down to the end, which is fine. I didn't have an issue with that either. My only issue, and uh, I'm kind of new to mummy bags, is while I was sleeping, it started turning on me, which uh, in a way I didn't care because then my face was pretty okay, warm. I also wanted to mention there is a uh, pocket right here to store your phone, whatever you want stored in there uh, overnight. I didn't use this one yet. It's not too big. Probably as big as my 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 wrist. Little uh, loops to make sure you don't fall off of your sleeping mat. And honestly, I don't know how to use those, but we'll get there. Okay, that's pretty much it right now. In its uh, storage sack. This is how I keep it in my closet, which was convenient. I didn't know it came with this. Uh, again, you're not supposed to store it compressed because over time you'll lose that loft. Okay, there it is in its stuff sack. My only issue with this is how long it is. I like the profile of how um, skinny and long it is. That way it could fit a little better. But that's why I'm using my own compression sack. Because, as you see right now, course this being down this can compress a lot a lot more and I'll show you what that looks like with mine okay all right that's pretty much the size I could get it down to with uh, with this stuff sack it's a little wider but it is definitely not as um, long and I can probably get a better compression sack with this and get it smaller. There is room to compress it further. Maybe three quarters of this size. There it is. Pretty light. Again, I'm going to get it on the scale for you now. Alright, there it is. That's all zeroed out and everything. And with this, this stuff sack and everything, this bag comes at two. Two pounds there's a 0.7 ounce there but two pounds just like it's advertised online two pounds 
Yeah, what the hell? This is like a six pound bag. If I could even fit this whole thing. And there it is, jumping between five and six pounds for my old Coleman Brazos. There you go. And again, the Brazos is actually, it's down to 20 degrees, just like the, uh, the down bag which is exactly identical then. All right, I hope you found that informative. Thanks, guys. Bye.